Hey everybody, that's Sense here. It is February 10th, 2012, and I'm looking at a few items that were sent to me while I was up in Chicago. They arrived. It came in from Solaro Energy. They are a solar panel manufacturing company, and specifically uh, someone, I think he's the owner or someone really high up at Solaro Energy contacted me, Dennis Grubb, and offered to send me an emergency solar panel kit to try and test out and to keep for my own personal use. Now, of course, I always say don't be scared, be prepared. I've been looking personally into solar panel solutions. My wife and I are attempting to get off the grid, and so we see th these different types of systems. Some of them are within our price range, some of them far beyond what I could afford, but something that maybe a family could afford, that kind of thing. So I'm going to show you this specific setup. Now, um, I've opened up the boxes, and I'm going to show you what's inside of each thing, but I haven't really looked, so we're going to have to, this is going to be kind of a first-time thing for me, and we'll just go through, look and see what's in each box, and also I'll put links down below for this stuff, not just for Solaro Energy, so you guys know I'm not just pushing one company or anything. Def definitely different solutions are available for people in different price ranges. Now this is an emergency setup. This is supposed to give you a light or some kind of power in an emergency type situation, okay? So let me just set this down really quick and we'll just get right into it. First thing, right off the bat, this is in a little box here. It's a DC inverter that is needed for any type of um, DC to AC power. Okay, so when you when you generate this power, it goes into a battery. That's DC. Well, you need to convert it over to AC to make any of our American devices work. So let's go. Let's look first at this big box here. Okay, so let me just set this down. All right, you guys, just bear with me here while I while I do this. Okay. So here we go. Now it's got a little handwritten note in here. It says. This light connects to a 12 or 24 volt DC power supply. So that's awesome to know. That means there's a light inside here. So here's one large box, which I'm going to set down. And we'll take the rest of the contents out of the box. Oh, wow. Look at that. Look at this. Okay. This is obviously the solar panel itself. Let me just hold this up so you can really see it. And let me back it off and give you a shot of it. Now you can see it's highly reflective of a blue substance. That's going to be your solar panel absorbing uh, material. I don't really know the name of it, so we'll have to look that up. I'll put links down below for that. This is totally cool. It's good to see this. Now let me just go ahead and put this off to the side. And we'll open the other box. The other box is just as big as the solar panel. Okay, and let's look inside here. So we've got some bubble wrap. Ah, okay, that's the light itself, which is cool it comes with that. You don't have to mess around trying to find a light that'll hook up. Looks like you got some junction boxes and a light switch box. Look, it even comes with the switch and the plate. Of course, the directions are in here. That's good. I'm gonna have to follow those. What I'm gonna do tomorrow, guys, is I'm gonna hook this up and let it charge. We have to let it charge for a certain amount of time. We'll have to read those directions. And once it's charged, then we're going to hook up the different uh, devices that I have and see how well they charge. It's going to be cool to see that. Let me shut this up. And let's look at this final box here. This box looks like it is the battery from just opening it up earlier. And here we go. So there it is. Okay, this is let me open this up. Very heavy, so I'm not going to take it out of the box right yet. But we can open it up. Looks like it's got some hinges on the side here. Okay. Hang tough, guys. And there it is. So that's going to be the battery that gets charged. All right. And then there's also the wires that need to be hooked up properly, positive and negative, just like you would hook up a car battery. And we're going to be charging that up. So, all right, well, you know, let's just look at the box one last time. Let me give a plug to these people. Um, they're very nice, very nice to speak to, and it's not just because they're trying to uh, get name out for their product. They're generally concerned. They're, they're offering 
budget solutions for people. And again, this isn't the only company that's doing it. There's a whole bunch of companies that are doing it. This is the one of the companies um, that I would definitely recommend. I already had looked at them before, so I had already known about this name before they contacted me. So when I saw that they were contacting me, I said, wow, okay, this is cool. Um, the only thing I can say, folks, is that you need to have a plan and be prepared, okay? No matter what you do, you can even get a little, small, one-foot solar panel for 30 bucks. I saw it up at, uh, at Walgreens, of all places, a solar charger for your digital cameras, for your laptop, that kind of thing. So, you know, there's all different kinds of solutions. This one's huge. I mean, this is going to be great. It's going to give you that kind of light that you need at nighttime. It's going to give you maybe a charge for your laptop, a charge for a small device, that kind of thing. So truly amazing. Much love to you guys. Much love to Solaro Energy. And you can expect me to get another video out as soon as it's charged up, okay?